you are folks and if you can remember the last van we did uh, the red transit connect uh, it was a brilliant van we had it for 12 months or so and it was just proving to be a little small couldn't stand up in it it did did as proud to be honest went all around the country but it was the opposite end of the spectrum the other vans that we've did being long and medium wheelbase were too big just couldn't park them up in spaces uh, use them for everyday use just nipping up the woods for a ride on the weekend what have you so the red transit customs gone now and we've built a new van but a uh, mercedes high top short wheelbase converted it and I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour around it now. So this is the new van. It's a Mercedes Sprinter, short wheelbase, high top. Bought from a dealer up in Manchester. Just a basic van, it was owned by a crane company that used to do crane repairs on the railway. It's a 313 CDI plenty of power so as you can see straight on the bull bars up top big strip LED light we've also had all the signs Mercedes badges and what have you add them off Give them a good rub down, primed them, painted them black. I splashed out on this one. Got the black rhino, sorry, black rhino wheels from Elite Wheels. Uh, put a link in the description. Them guys looked after us really well. Also came fitted with the BF Goodrich tyre, uh, guaranteed to fit on the Sprinter with the biggest radius possible. Got these running boards, they come off eBay again with a glass. eBay again, come in a pack, ready to fit, quite easy to fit. And then we've got the Fiamma F45, it's actually for a medium wheelbase, but it fits perfect. And we've had to adapt a way of fitting it by basically fitting a roof rack. And then it's actually fit to the roof rack. Worked out quite well. It obviously folds out, I'll show you that in a second. And then the legs of the awning go into those brackets. Again, all the badges and sprayed black. Stickers added. And this side window we decided to have an opener with it being next to the kitchen. There you go folks, there's the awning off. Legs basically winds out with this winder. Legs clip into these clips that are fixed to the side of the van. And we've got a full awning. Really good. You can get under this only now. Mess with the bike. Have dinner. Whatever. We've also had these deadlock bolts fitted. Because obviously we're going to get carrying bikes worth quite a lot of money. So, I'll show you inside. Let's have a look. Right, so we've obviously got the two swivel seats, swivel round. And we've got this table which makes a real good workspace. Also swivels, you can go outside with it. Obviously lower it down. And 
then you've got an outside table table is made by a lagoon just get that out of the way up front we fitted a new stereo we've gone with the sony 10.9 i think it is it's a massive screen it's got apple carplay on there so it allows us to do everything that we can do on the phone safely as well with voice recognition we've also added it's a, actually a, a camera system that records while you're driving uh, it's got lenses front and back and it's also got a rear camera for reversing to be honest we use it mainly in reverse mode on all the time so as we've got a review mirror because obviously wait you can't see out the back of this thing now we had a kitchen pod made while it was cnc'd up by a guy in sheffield for us because we thought we were going to do it ourselves obviously me being a carpenter but the cnc just just does that good a job so perfect and for us to go out and buy the tool in the router bits and then buy the board at 150 pound per sheet it, it just wasn't viable it was just better to have this guy make it for us it's called the camper company i'll try and get you a link in the description real nice sliders on the drawers fridge fits straight in i've got the Dematic CRX50, I think it is. Cupboards underneath. Pots and pans and stuff. Gas lockers in there too. Ooh, forget the cups. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Sink. Cooker. <clears throat> We've only got cold running water in this one, folks. We found that we never really used the hot water and for the little bit that we did use we just thought it was easy enough to just boil a kettle. Right. iPad bracket. Absolutely brilliant. I sit and watch movies in the seats. We swivel it round. Watch movies while we're in bed we worked out the cost of actually putting a tv in here a small tv and we wanted a digital smart tv and by the time we bought it we could actually afford to go out and have this ipad from o2 for so much a month and it didn't work out much dearer and the ipad stays with me it goes back into the house and i use it all the time overhead storage Bits and mobs in there, some coffee and what have you. And then these overhead bins, we basically stole the IV off a company in America called Sink Vans. It's a inch by inch box section steel. Uh, we welded it up. I'll show you some pictures of me welding it up and how it came together. And then it's been clad with plywood and the plywood's been wrapped in this hessian material that we managed to get from ebay apparently ikea use it for their furniture and then we've uh, used that material all around the van it's real hardware and it's nice looking stuff obviously we use the normal carpet to carpet the ceiling because it's just so easy to use Up here we've got a CO2 meter and then there's a solar panel on the roof. I'll show you that in a man, see if I can show it you.
this is the controller it allows us to set timers and the best charging rates uh, when it trips in and trips out at what voltage above that we've got the control for the diesel heater it's one of the Chinese ones again come off eBay something silly like 80 pounds something like that uh, they, re they work really well and there's, there's no way I'm gonna pay eight nine hundred quid for a German heater when we can get one of these and replace it eight times so obviously that is housed and this little compartment that is under the kitchen unit it's all been heat proofed and it's vented around the side so quite safe we've tried it out it works really well right as you can see obviously this time we haven't blocked the bed in we've left, our, left access underneath to the garage mainly because we can put long stuff in I've got a good five maybe six meters from the, the front of the dash right to the back of the van even in this short wheelbase van we can get bikes in we could get probably three maybe four bikes in but we'll, we'll only ever have two uh, me and Damo to be honest uh, I have also fitted an inverter so as I can charge my e-bike it involved quite a process of working out how much battery power and how much solar power we needed uh, batteries there's two there's one underneath that base and one underneath that base and I'll show you all the wiring system in a minute under the bed two ticks I'll put some lights on we've got this uh, hex board it's basically birch pie covered in uh, a hex like vinyl material it's used for trailer bottoms and stuff and flight cases and such as uh, there's the heater outlet that's adjustable as soon as we can fire that wherever we want if we want to dry some clothes off or get the bikes dry after washing them now in this compartment is basically pump we've got a tank in there I think that's a 35 litre tank pump and a pressure vessel just as we get even pressure and these uh, hatches they're, they're amazing quite cheap off eBay nets toolbox and the tank we said again we've got another one of these hatches it's a round one this time and we can basically fill the tank up from here got the bike in right we'll go around the back doors now and we'll show you the garage Right, folks the table quite easily it unclips from the, the post and we've bought these uh, little plastic mounting brackets it just mounts basically on the side of the kitchen unit there aha uh -huh. scratch that got it upside down it mounts in there like so clip folds over tighten that up and it's out the way got all the front room yeah, to do with whatever we want got plenty of room there now right, let's have a look in the garage again plenty of storage for the bikes got this little tidy whatever you want to call it again I think it was something like three quid off eBay uh, I don't know if you've noticed there's an orange theme going on so 
made these little plaques, got some stickers off just to try and tie it and give it a bit of branding. Again, the hex board, dead good stuff, birch ply. Down the bottom, the bike stands. It actually fits into this T track. Uh, you can get this again eBay for, off the internet. You get these, you can buy these separate clips. They basically unclip like so. Dead easy to use. And then the good tie downs. The bike axle stands, they were provided from a company called BlockPod. They uh, looked after us and sent a couple of these stands free of charge. Uh, I did say they'd give them a massive shout out in the video. Uh, if you want one of these, I'm not kidding you, the quality of them is amazing. If you want to go have a look and we'll probably put a link in the description to their website. Check them out, it's not just axle stands they do, they do all kinds of stuff for vans. Some of the racking systems are phenomenal. And basically we mounted them to the plates and then again they move the slide round and we can actually take them completely out. It's just uh, it gives us a bit of ease to move them round whenever we want to. Right, controls. Obviously, lights for under the bed. Lights out back. When it's night time, I want to get sorted. And if you can hear that, there's a compressor. It's housed in this box, the top lifts off. And then we have compressor hose, again an orange, with a quick release mount, fits in there and we've got the tyre pressure gauge. Put the tyres up and down. We had one of these in the last one and we used it so much and we were popping these tyres off when we were racing. You know how believable it is to be able to just seat a tyre with a compressor while you're out. Really good. And for how much they cost, switch that off. I'll show you. Again, eBay purchased. They sell them for air horns and things like that. The suspension systems, Ooh, there goes one of my helmets, and uh, they're about 60 70 pounds. And they, they, they race brilliant, I think. Stick your link in the description if I can find it. On the other side, we've got jet wash again, quick release connection. Quite powerful, the pump's not switched on at the minute, but works a treat. Oh, forgot something. This is another thing we splashed out on on this van, with it being a bit more newer van, thought it deserves something nice. Got the park tool, bike repair stand, it's mounted to the door. We have had to back it with some metal behind there, so because it's quite heavy, and obviously with the bike on it, it's going to be heavy. Works a treat. Yeah, you can see the bike repair stand holds the bike perfectly for working on. Daft as it seems, that is a, a guttering downpipe extender and it make, it's perfect for slotting that in. We had some leftover box section, so we made these right sturdy hoop rail, hanging the bags on and the helmets. 
anything else really. Works out well. Up top in the bed area, got these little reading lights. Really good, got on both sides. The reverse camera I was telling you about. And then we've got some speakers that were mounted. Makes such a difference in sound. But an absolute nightmare to route the cables down there, through the plastic, <laughs> and then all the way across the van. Still worth doing. All the boxing was trimmed with this inch aluminium. We've trimmed the step with it. And then flooring wise, we've used this black rubber. I think it's called Penny Coin Design flooring. It's brilliant. It gets a bit dirty because it's black, but it's so easy to mop out. Uh, we've had this uh, cover that goes all the way across the driving area and then round the back slightly. That was from eBay, real reasonable price to actually buy the mat for the single seat conversion. The proper Mercedes one is ridiculous, so we just did this. It's about 40 quid. Can drop it out and move it whenever we want. Again, the single seat this side, we had a double one before. This is actually a Mercedes seat to match that one, but it's a driver's seat that's been converted so the seat belt's been moved to the other side we did have a massive problem with the SRS light coming on when we removed the double seats the way we got around it was basically was to take the seat belt out of the double seat and plug it back in and hide it underneath that base we tried chips, resistors, in fact I've got one right here. Spent a fortune on this thing from a German company and it didn't even work. So it's, it's just rubbish. Stick with the seatbelt if you ask me. Up top, we were gonna put a bulkhead in to store things. But we like it so much that we can just walk to the seat and sit down without banging your head. It's, it's just been left as it was. Uh, it just gives that sense of space as well. The pillars were lined in plywood and then carpeted both sides. Right, power. We've got loads of these USB points dotted all around the place there's some in the back i've got a battery for me a wireless dropper that's permanently in there because i keep forgetting to take it uh, here we've got lights got loads of spotlights we've put absolutely loads of them in two four six eight lights in the space of this short wheelbase van because last van we didn't put as many lights in and at night we struggled so we've put loads in. We've got a water pump. Uh, sorry. Uh, power for the USBs. And then we've got a spare switch there. I think it's for the awning lights uh, that we're going to fit at some point if we ever get around to it. All right, folks. Battery and everything. Auxiliary battery is all hidden in this van. It's all underneath the seat there. We've got two of these 110 amp hour new max batteries, both of them, uh, sorry, one of them's under this seat base. With all the electrics, we've got a kill switch, we've got a solar charge controller, all the fuses, what have you, switchboard is under that seat. And then under this seat, I'm going to have to go around the other side of the van. We've got the other battery, all the van wiring, which I wish was as neat as the wiring that we've put in, but it's not. And then we have, sorry you can't see it very well, 
we've got this 1500 watt inverter which has allows us to charge e-bikes sockets around the front it actually allows us to charge me e -bike. i can get a 75 percent charge basically running from the solar panel direct from the batteries this is why we have two batteries if I'm driving anywhere, if I'm driving for longer than three hours, I can charge my bike 100% from the inverter. The inverter controller is mounted here on the front of the unit. All I basically do is flip that switch. It tells me how much battery of life and obviously that switches the inverter on. Gives me a low input voltage warning as well if we've got a low input. Another thing that we fitted as a fire extinguisher is to just get the idea that it's better to be safe to have one for the sake of a tank word. So we fitted one, we mounted it there, it's ever there, it's there if we ever need it. Right, the bed, it's actually uh, just a memory foam double mattress bought from eBay and then the cover, it's got a zip. I think at the far end we unzipped it and then cut it down with a, a carving knife sewed it back up and fitted it into the actual bed base the bed itself we've used something called unistrut and it's basically what electricians use for racking uh, it's been fixed to the van and then you get these corner brackets and you can just build it up, a bit like McCarno. now. It's like going back to being a kid again. Quite easy to use, dead easy to remove if I have to. And then, lined with a hex board. Big double sleeping bag. eBay purchase again. And then, These uh, window blinds are really thermally efficient, they're brilliant, they fit really well. Uh, the guy actually didn't do the rear windows for a short wheelbase, but I sent him some measurements and he made me some. Uh, it's got an eBay shop, I'll put you a link in his description, he was brilliant. You can have them in any colour, obviously chose orange to keep the theme going. I'll show you some pictures of them actually fitted to the windows. You've obviously got one for the front windscreen, two side windows, and then the two windows that are actually in the back quarter. There you go. That's a love mean lovely a nine it rip nine. That's what all these bands are about really. Taking these bikes, racing and riding them. There you go, folks. That's the van. Any questions, ask. Drop us a like. Subscribe if you want to. And go have a look at some of the mountain bike videos as well. Because, again, that's what this van's all about. Getting out, riding, adventure. Cheers, folks. See you later. Bye. Just a quick one, we have got a lot of videos and pictures and stuff of when we were actually building the van. If you'd be interested in to actually see how we did some of the stuff and see the van, obviously before it was built, before it was converted, uh, give us a comment below, just let us know exactly what you want to see and we'll see if we can put something together for you. Cheers, bye. Don't forget, like and subscribe please. Cheers.